Hi everyone, uh, this is the Barrett 550 with the remote head uh, and I'm just going to give you a few tips about programming this radio up. Um, I bought this radio second hand and I noticed, uh, I didn't notice right away but later on when I wanted to use it up on 10 meters and 11 meters um, I couldn't program any frequency, uh, any transmit frequency above 26 megahertz. So, like, if you go into here and you do um, uh, 28500 um, and press enter for the receive, um, the transmit, when you press transmit, it wouldn't um, take that. It would just reset to 26 megahertz as being the highest frequency. So, I knew there was something sort of wrong with it. Um, and I, I was hoping it was just a, a configuration setting, and thankfully it was. Um I'm going to post this clip in the group, but I've also um, provided a link. Um, I can't remember the guy's call sign, but it's someone in Australia wrote a very good how-to on um, setting this radio up to program it, and you should follow that guide, um, because that's what I did. Um, if you've got a computer without a serial port, you're going to need the adapter, which is a USB to serial. It works perfectly, and I've just wired up a DB9. Uh, to a DB25. This is a male, DB25 male, and that's a DB9 female. And this is a, a, a male connector like it would be if it went directly into a computer that had a, an RS232 port. I just used a piece of Ethernet cable because the the, um, the pins on the 25 one are quite small um, to solder, so I had to use quite thin wire. Um, and it's five wires you need to wire up. That document I, um, I'll post a link to on the group once I've uploaded this video. It'll um, show you that as well. Now, um, if you follow this guide, uh, you have to install a program called DOSBox. And basically DOSBox is just a Windows program that emulates DOS uh, through a window. And just to be clear, before we before you go any further with DOSBox, the, the document um, that you need to follow talks about... Um, adding a line to the configuration of DOS, uh, DOS box. There is an options, this one here. And when you follow, follow the, 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 um, the guide, um, it, it talks about finding a line. Uh, and I'll just go down and I'll find that line and I'll tell you what the line is. Um, it's further down. So, so if you can see this here, it talks about the serial ports. So, in the, the document, it talks about adding the first line, the serial one, direct serial real port COM7. Now, the last bit, the COM7, is quite important because that number might be different on your computer. Um, you need to check your COM port you're connecting to. And the best way to do that is to go into Device Manager. Apologies for using uh, the phone. I don't, my camera is, um, battery's dead, so I'm having to resort to this. So you go into here and you go down to ports, com and LPT and as you can see the only co uh, serial port I've got on this laptop because it doesn't have one is com7. So that's why I've added com7 but yours might be com1, com2, 3, 4, whatever. You need to make sure that number matches. Then you basically save this uh, when you come out of it as you do in the guide and then all you need to do is when everything you've set up everything in the guide is you go and you launch DOSBox. So if you look here, I downloaded the latest one that you can download. You just search for it in Google, DOSBox 0.74-3. It pops up. You can actually get it to automatically mount. So what you need to do now, um, the software you get to program this radio from Barrett, I, I unzipped the program files and installed it uh, through DOSBox. Uh, which is in that guide as well, into uh, C colon backslash Barrett. So the first thing you need to do is mount the drive. So mount a C drive, and it's called C, this, uh, which is Barrett, is what I called the folder. So that's going to mount a C drive uh, uh, specifically for the Barrett folder that the programming software is in. So if you do that, then you do C, takes you to C, then change directory Barrett. You have to do this from the command prompt. 
And if you do a DIR, which lists everything, the program that you want to launch is called the radcfg.exe. So all you do is you type in rad cfg, hit enter. Oh, sorry, I spelt it wrong. And it loads up this window. If you follow the guide, I've already created a client, a profile, and I called it 550R. You're going to have to follow the guide and do that. And once you've done that, you can go in, you can actually, what I did, I downloaded, I actually downloaded the configuration from the radio to the PC. That's the first thing I did. So what you do is, you go into Radio Pack, and you want to receive not send. Send is actually upload the configuration from the computer to the, the radio. So if you go to receive, you can do that. And you have to do this quite quick. Um, so when I go to receive, it starts doing that. Then you go into the radio and you press this. Clarifier. Go to clone. And then you want to send out data because you're sending stuff out. Now, if you're not quick enough, it'll time out. So that's fine. So we just basically do it again. So you go send out data and you get to that menu and then you press send. And then you go to here and you do receive and, and it's sending the data now. Clone, clone complete, press any key. So that's loaded up. If you can see the date, it's today's date, uh, which is the 7th of February. And if I go to radio, customize, it shows all the settings that are currently inside my radio. Uh, so the first screen shows all these. And if you page down one page, it goes to all the items that can be locked to, to stop a user using them. So I've unchecked all of these boxes, even the service one. The service one was actually blocked, so I un. Un unblock that you can do this that that locks it that unlocks it and when you're done with that you can uh, just go page back up uh, I'll just stop that because it's complaining it's in the menu uh, so that's that now the other thing you've got is you've got this option called transmit bands if you hit F8 when I downloaded my configuration from the radio this was blank it actually said default I think and I guess when Barrett um, uh, send these radios out, they have it as default. So whatever setting is set up from the factory, obviously I couldn't transmit above 26 megahertz. So what you need to do is you need to, uh, I think you can hit the insert here, double click, and it, it lets you, well double click I did with the mouse, and you set the low band, which is 1600 for 1 1.6 megahertz. High band is 30000, which is 30 megahertz. Click OK. And then all you do is save and exit. Now, to upload this, uh, I just want to make sure that um, my configuration is correct because I spent a bit of time the other day uh, doing this. So I just want to make sure that everything's still set as it was. I don't know what the pulsed external alarm was doing though, but never mind. Um, so that's okay. Noise blanker on. It's a base station I've got it set up. You can set these up for Barrett antennas. I've got my clarifier, a full 1 kilohertz limit. Uh, the backlight's always on and I've got no mute. I'm, I'm not using cell call. Uh, save and exit. So what you need to do is go to your menu, press reset. Now I think in the manual I'm sending the link for, he tells you to hit the CHN button twice, but that does nothing. I think he made a mistake because what you need to do is hit the clarifier up and down arrows to scroll. So you get the clone radio. And to clone radio, you select, you're not sending data out now. So you need to go to receive data in. And on this, this you need to have send. So you're sending the configuration out and you're receiving it on the radio. So I'm going to click, you've got to do this very fast. So I'm going to click send. I'm going to go and select this and then you hit the button here and it just sends the data. 
transfer successful and then the radio reboots okay and that's it and that's how you do it um, there's nothing else to it when you set up a, a new profile I think he calls it I just called mine 5503 because you need that because it holds a little database on the, the computer and you need to make sure you've already set this up and mine is just set to serial number one and I've got a cell call that's just my cell call ID and that's it basically and that's as e it's as easy as that and um, on, on this radio uh, let me switch it off I can't remember how you go into the menu uh, to see the, the firmware but on, on my set my firmware is 1.22 I think it said dash 2 let's do it again there is another way to see this in the menu but I can't remember yeah 1.22-2 so that, that's my firmware that's in this radio. Um, I did contact Barrett, um, and Barrett, um, they don't provide firmware updates anymore, and I don't even know how you do them on this radio. You probably need to get it uh, reprogrammed on the chip on the board. Uh, and that's it, really. So, so, so that's how you do it. So um, you need to follow the guide. And I just gave you a couple of tips here, but I just made that, that cable up. It's not very good. I bought cheap connectors. Um, they're not the best ones, and um, I could have made it neater, but I just did a makeshift one. I'm going to probably be make a better one. But the, ch the number of times you use it, it's, it's not worth it. Um, and I, I programmed up quite a few channels in mine now. I've even got the 11 meter calling frequency. Um, just lots of different channing and stuff like that so that's it and that's how, how you do it so i hope this is uh, helpful to some people because uh it's always good to let people know how you do stuff um some people struggle more than others with this but um yeah that's it thanks everyone